welcome to to the point so this is the last part about the miniature paintings in india and here we'll be discussing about the bengal school of art bengal school of art the bengal school it is supposed to have a reactionary approach to the existing style of painting around 1940 to 1960 so this school is very unique as they use simple colors so this idea of bengal school it came up with the works of abanindranath tagore in the early 20th century tagore's arabian night series they made a mark on global scale and it was broke away from the previous schools of indian painting and it brought in something new abanindranath tagore he tried to incorporate swadeshi values in indian art and tried to reduce the influence of western art style among the artist and he is known for his painting bharat mata and various mughal themed paintings and the other notable painter of this school is nandalal bose whose work it led to further development of modern indian art nandalal bose he was associated with shantini ketan he is known for white on black gandhi sketch so which became an iconic during 1930s so he also interested with the task of illuminating the original document of constitution of india and one of the famous painters of this school was rabindranath tagore and his painting was very unique and he used dominant black lines and that made the subject look a very prominent rabindranath tagore he made small size paintings also and some art historians argue that the paintings it can be linked to his writings he wrote a very evocative poems and the same sense of rhythm and that can be detected in his paintings rabindranath tagore he was deeply spiritual person and it reflected in many of his paintings and many of his students went on to become a famous painters of bengal school cubist style of painting the cubist movement of painting it was a inspiration from european cubist movement so under this style the objects were broken analyzed and then reassembled the artist reconstructed this process of canvas through the use of abstract art forms and they tried to achieve the perfect balance between line and color and one of the most popular cubist artist in india was m f hussein m f hussein he made a series of paintings called personification of romance so in the paintings that used abstract connotation he used a motif of a horse and this motif of a horse it was used frequently as it was best to depict the fluidity of motion progressive artist group so in the year 1947 another group of painters they grabbed the attention of the art world by the use of progressive and bold themes they amalgamated this themes with softer and more abstract themes so they lacked any uniformity among themselves but they were inspired by european modernism the founder of this progressive artist group was francis newton saucha but the more famous members were s h raza h j g ara and so on and even the famous cubist painter m f hussein was a member of progressive artist group they organized their first art exhibition in the year 1948 and they were patronized by mulk raj anand and from then on they became a large collective and opened many galleries in delhi and mumbai they have also given opportunities to many talented young painters like balraj khana v s gaitonde birende akbar padmasi and thyab mehta so in the next session let's continue our discussion on folk paintings thank you